Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today's question is what is configuration in SQL Server Integration Services? That's a very important question. So SSIS configuration is the way to make your package dynamic. What does that mean? So let's say you are developing your package in your local machine or you are developing your package on development machine. Once you are done with the development, you have to move this package. You have to deploy this package to different environment such as SIT, QA, UAT, and production. So what happened? When you are developing your SSIS package on local machine or on dev machine, you were using different folder structure. You were using different servers. Those were development servers. You were using different values of the variable. You were passing, uh, by, by passing them in the package. So now, when you have deployed your package, to the UAT production or QA, you want to connect your package to the those servers, those different folders, they are according to the environment. So how you do that? The very first thing you can do, you can create four set of SSIS packages, one for dev, one for QA, one for UAT, one for production. So what is happening? You are creating a lot more work if small change has to be done in one package, you have to make changes in four packages. So what is the best way to do it? So you create a SSIS configuration. So you will create the configuration for connection managers, variables, folder structures. So you will pass those values according to the environment. So this is very important concept. When you are creating your packages, always enable configuration. So by enabling configuration, you can move your package from one environment to another environment and the only thing you have to do to pass the different values according to the environment. This way you will be always having less work for your team instead of creating multiple copies of your packages. SSIS provide different types of configurations. I'm gonna take the next question and I will go in detail for types of configurations. Those are available in SSIS configuration. Thanks very much for watching this video.